dog holds a well-chewed ball in his mouth. All right. It's only fair that you enjoy it too. But if you feel like throwing it, I wouldn't mind that at all. any strange dreams of late vivid ones damn I was hoping my imagination had gotten the better of me but this must be something more this dream companion wanted me to use the tadpole use its power whoever it was claimed to be an ally but I don't know it seems like we can't escape this mess in the waking world or otherwise. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? She took me in when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, loves me. Don't believe the lies the Salunites tell. What, besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? It's a deal. No, I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memories suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. But I can't remember much of myself either. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shah will reward me when I succeed. We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. Personally, I think finding this Halsin is our best bet. If we're truly desperate, we can try to convince that goblin gut in assisting us. I'm not too hopeful that a gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Home. Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. I had the strangest dream last night. Uh, there was a visitor promising me protection. And all sorts of delicious powers from the parasites in our heads. Given our shared affliction, I suppose you had a similar dream. Excellent. Now we can see what these tadpoles can do for us. Exactly. Waste not, want not. Even when it comes to mind flare parasites. Glick. I had a dream. As we all did, I suspect. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. The parasite has taken root, it would seem. Every word, every promise, it is gaith deception. You're delusional. I'd sooner trust a night hag than a strange figure bearing dream gifts. Will's brows furrow as your minds connect. He sees the burning embers of Joaquin's rest, then Floric's face as she tells you of Ravenguard's abduction. Hells! Older Ravenguard's been taken. If Floric says he lives, then he lives, and we need to free him from his captors. You see, Grand Duke Ravenguard is my father. I know I haven't said, 
Our relation was no matter of pride, not least for him. More than worried in truth. What makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Menzo Baranzen would have little use for my father. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. I know, and you're right. My story is one of two men. The Blade of Frontiers, a man hunting the fiends who prey on the weak and claw at the coast. And Will Ravenguard, a memory of a memory, a man who belongs to the past. I wanted you to know the blade, not the shadow he left behind. I had a dream last night, a vivid one. And so did you, judging from the way my tadpole is tingling. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. Tempting as these powers sound, we should recognize this dream for what it is the tadpole's little trick. No good ever came from trusting honey-tongued strangers conjured up by illithid worms. I wouldn't advise it. Play with fire and you get burned. That's always the way of it. My apologies. Huh. Not quite myself just yet. I had the strangest dream last night. A visitor came to me. A vision of unparalleled beauty and power. She told me she was watching over me, protecting me, and that our tadpoles could prove beneficial if we embrace what powers they have to offer. An uncanny apparition. I'm not entirely sure what to make of it. Very curious. In all my readings on the effects of illithid parasites, I've never come across any accounts of correlating dreams between infected parties. Another unique quality of our predicament, perhaps. Hmm. Are you inclined to take these visitors at their word? If so, we have far more to learn about the powers at play here. Our ignorance as to the exact nature and intent of our saviors is hardly cause for celebration. I hope your confidence proves well-founded. God knows we could use all the help we can get. I had a wild dream last night. This beautiful entity came to me, promised to protect me. Told me the parasite in our heads could give us power. Sounds like it. What did you make of it? Damn right. Things like a splinter. We just need to find a way to squeeze it out. The year? Ten air. The place? A sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero? Karlak. A knock-kneed delinquent from the outer city with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. I'll meet out the best ones bit by bit, 
so you always have a reason to keep me around. Clever, right? Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler-dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job. A good job. With people I liked. Doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Gives me energy. Power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. Agonizing. God's what I wouldn't give for a hug. A pat. Anything. You've never met anyone so desperate for a hug as this one right here. Pathetic, perhaps, but true. It's my lot to bear, and I bear it badly. Ah, oh, well. Can't have it all, can you? Not today, at least. Why are we slowing down? It wasn't all that long ago. I never knew the whole of how and why, but I remember the devil slavering with delight. I should have looked after the Elterans more. Gone out of my way to make sure they were all right. The long and short of it was I didn't want to risk my neck. I let them get on with the nightmare, same as I had to. But Avernus is no place for decent folk. I'm glad they got out. So glad. Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand. Every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice, me by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. She favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. <sighs> no kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. <laughs> it had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. I don't know. You'd think she'd have more important things to do. Devils and their pride. Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? I can picture you getting mixed up in some outrageous shit. Giants. Beholders. <laughs> Thayans, the works! Maybe once we've wrapped up the current shenanigans, we'll rest a bit and find some new heap of trouble to throw ourselves at. Yeah? Let's hope Damon is as good as he seems. Once my engine's handled, I can focus on more important matters. Tadpoles, cults, frosty pints. Damon told us to look out for this stuff, right? Let's go find him. How fares the search? Maybe. But I'd need infernal iron. And a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. 
Please let this work. Mm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. That feels... good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way, hmm? What to do? Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Bring it on. You carry a Githyanki relic. I will have an explanation. Or your head. Walk away. Now. I won't warn you again. You have something precious to my kin. An heirloom. I will have it back. Heirloom? Plunder from some conquered realm, more like. This artifact is the only thing keeping us from becoming slaves to our parasites. Be glad I have it. I do not wish to spill blood here. Come daylight, we will find a place to end this. Fine. You can accept your wrong, or we'll be rid of you permanently. Either way, I win. You had every chance to look the other way, but here we are. You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward! If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. She's a liability. It's the artifact we need, not her. Let me up, and I'll show you. Can I do that, Lazel? Can I turn my back on you? Never. Thieves aren't afforded such luxury. Loosen the grip on your pride for one blasted moment, won't you? We needn't be enemies. There's plenty of those to go around already. What would you have? That we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But imagine what we might achieve if we channeled some of that hostility back at our real foes, instead of each other. They wouldn't stand a chance. Have we buried the hatchet, Lazel? No. Why would I bury a weapon? Is it broken? It's a metaphor. I do not know your metaphor. But if you need help digging, I will find a shovel. Wish I had a bag of holding.
trait of Kithrak takes great interest in this relic of yours, Shadow Heart. Or should I say, weapon? What are you hiding? Nothing. I assume your kin are just as misguided as you are. Supposed to be a threat. Got a set on you, all right. Almost makes me like you. Almost. I'm gonna enjoy pulling off your skin when we're done. Got to move. Incoming. should get started. Time to strike. No time to waste. for you.
finding my way. No surrender. What's it gonna take? I wonder if this is worth the cost. Follows me everywhere. Oh. Try something else. These boots have seen everything. longer.
only way out is through. are watching me. these mortals be. Slow down. No choice but to keep going. You sniffing where you ain't ought to be, friend. Might have to take that nose. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority.
Dim-witted artisan waste on that. Don't mind if I do. Lying in wait for an ambush. <sighs> you can take a day off once in a while, Lazel. I do not take days off. I'd even forego sleep if such a thing were feasible. The one advantage an elf holds over an Ifyanyi. That's the end of this silly quarrel. They'll have no energy for battling our enemies if Lazel and Shadowheart are too busy squabbling among themselves. <laughs> 